Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most crucial factors when choosing where to live in Denver, safety. With its rich culture, stunning landscapes, and booming job market, Denver has become a magnet for people from all walks of life. But in a city as diverse as this, finding a safe haven is key. Join us as we explore the top safest neighborhoods in the Mile High City. Our first stop on the safety tour of Denver is Park Hill. With its mid-century ranch homes and a population of 11,577, Park Hill takes the lead as one of the safest neighborhoods in the Mile High City. The violent and property crime rates here are below the national average, making it an ideal spot for young professionals and families. Median household income of $134,467 and a median home price of $567,434, it's not just safe but quite comfortable too. Next up, we have Congress Park, a neighborhood committed to safety with an 18.4% decrease in violent crime and a 12.9% drop in property crime. With a population of 10,942, Congress Park is a lively community offering a mix of bars, restaurants, coffee shops, and parks. It's a place where safety and entertainment go hand in hand. Moving on, we have Washington Park, a safe Denver neighborhood and urban oasis with a population of 14,825. While property crime is somewhat higher than the national average, residents generally feel safe, and the median home price is $537,873. The neighborhood itself surrounds a popular urban park, offering a wide open space for various community activities. Now, let's explore University, an exclusive neighborhood adjacent to the University of Denver. With a population of 7,676, University stands out for its exceptional safety record. With a low violent crime rate of 317 incidents per 100,000 people, well below the city average, University offers a secure environment. The property crime rate is also impressively low at 3,656 per 100,000 people. Moving on to Belcaro, a charming neighborhood with a population of 5,412. Lined with bungalows and grand mansions, Belcaro is celebrated for its safety, reporting just 49.2 assaults per 100,000 residents. It's a stark contrast to the national average, making it a standout choice for those seeking both safety and charm. The safest neighborhood in Denver takes us to the Golden Triangle, located centrally with a population of 1,869. Home to the Denver Art Museum, this area boasts an extremely low violent crime rate and a property crime rate of only 1,769 per 100,000 people. It's an affluent area with a median home price of $418,600. Stepping into the historic Lower Downtown, or Lodo, we find a neighborhood with a population of 8,519. Known for its safety, Lodo is 32% safer than the Colorado average, with a diverse range of attractions, including Coors Field, Ball Arena, and the historic Denver Union Station. It's a fantastic spot for young singles seeking both safety and entertainment. Baker, located in central Denver, is up next. With a population of 5,795, this neighborhood is just one mile from the Denver Civic Center. Baker enjoys a relatively low total crime rate of 4,729 crimes per 100,000 people, making it a safe bet for those looking to live close to downtown without compromising safety. The median home price is $355,880. Moving towards Gateway Green Valley Ranch, a neighborhood with a population of 35,927. This area boasts a crime rate 29% lower than the Colorado average, making it a safe haven for its residents. With a median income of $68,544 and a median home price of $222,990, it's an affluent yet secure neighborhood in Denver. Finally, let's explore Five Points, one of Denver's oldest and safest neighborhoods with a population of 17,520. The total crime rate here is well below the Colorado average, standing at 3,559 per 100,000 people. The median home price here is $395,167, a 114% higher than the U.S. average. Some of the safest neighborhoods in Denver. Whether you're seeking family-friendly environments, urban vibes, or peaceful suburbs, Denver has a safe neighborhood to match your preferences. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content about great places to live.